Hi everyone, um, so today I'm in the same forest I was in last time, uh, a different part, and I have this. <laughs> um, very excited, it's a little um, trail cam, nature cam, so I'm going to put it up in a minute on one of these trees and I can't actually decide which one. <laughs> I think this side um, could be good because I've seen a few deer trails behind me and they're coming straight past. If I put it on, say, one of these trees uh, facing kind of here, it would then catch them walking through. You might think I'm a little bit nuts, but I have brought some food for the animals, okay? So just give me a second. I will show you what I have for them. So we have some lovely fresh chopped carrots. Um, I thought chopped might be better, help them eat it more easily. And the next treat is this. It's one of my favorite peanut butters, by the way. <laughs> and there is some left. So I'm gonna put a few spoonfuls out on some twigs, branches. What we're gonna do is leave the trail cam for about one day, two days. I'll come back and have a look what I've got and I will share that with you. Um, yeah, there's so many signs of things living here. I'm not an expert, but I see a lot of deer poo. I see poo that I don't know what it is, but it's fresh and lots of holes and yeah, signs that things happen here at night time. Where? <laughs> are we thinking too low? Are we thinking? I think that'd be okay. So it's kind of there. See that? And the tricky bit. That's <laughs> on there. I really hope this works. Do do do. <laughs> Pick the lid up. Take our rubbish home. And now we have the lovely carrots. Here's the camera again. So if I put one here, you know. Um, yeah. Just throw one over there. <laughs> and they might kind of walk, follow the food, walk, eat. <laughs> finally managed to uh, work this strap out and now it's on pretty secure so yeah that's that <laughs> anyway I hope you find this interesting and maybe if you've been thinking about doing it my results if I get some might encourage you to do the same so let me just show you this is a great bit here look straight in front of that camera which is just that. There he is. <sighs> I've actually been here probably about two hours now. So yeah, um, it's getting dark. The camera is down there on that tree there. It is now set to come on and film until 10 o'clock in the morning, because you can set the times. So I've done it from 4 p.m. today uh, until 10 p.m. Uh, 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow even if I don't take the camera home, I'm just gonna be like, ah, have I got anything? So I need to open it up and have a look. See you very soon for the results. So I am back home now, as you can see. Um, I left the camera in the forest for a bit longer than I had planned. Uh, I left it there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Um, each day I went back to check it and I made a mistake on the first night that it recorded. Um, so yeah, I set the time wrong on it, so it didn't come on at the time I thought it would, so yeah, I might have actually missed something there. So Friday night, nothing, 
no footage, just me putting the camera on the tree and then walking away. <laughs> so yeah, then I left it for the Saturday night. So I tried again, also nothing. A little bit strange though, because I had seen that um, the peanut butter that I left um, closest to the camera had been nibbled at. So I was like, oh no, whatever it was, was obviously too low for the camera to detect and record. Um, so I thought, okay, clearly something has been here. I just need to adjust the camera maybe. So I did that and just kind of tilted it down a little bit, looking at the ground more. I went back on Sunday, nothing again. Um, just me coming to have a look at it. Obviously something had been there. It still wasn't low enough to catch whatever it was. So I took um, the strap off the tree, moved the whole thing down, I don't know, like this much? <laughs> moved it that much lower down on the tree, same tree. So yeah, just a few adjustments. And then I went back on Monday. And finally, when I had a look, I could see all of these files, which you can see here, I think you can see them, yeah. So in total, we've got three different types of animal. Just before I play the clips, um, <laughs> I just want to let you know that the trail camera I have is very cheap, so it's not crystal clear, but you can see what is in the videos. So as I suspected, it was mice. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to be honest, I really like mice, so yeah, fine with me. I think they are field mice. Um, not an expert, but I think they're field mice. Um, very quickly before I play um, the second clip, this branch here that you can see uh, was a lot further away from the camera. I actually brought it where you can see it now, kind of balancing on those two stumps. So I'm really glad I did that. Um, yeah, and they've got peanut butter on there. There's some carrot around. <laughs> um, as I say, there's 36 clips. Most of them are of just the mice. So uh, I need to make a decision which ones to show you. Uh, let's try clip three. So yeah, here they go. Munch, munch, munch. Where's that peanut butter gone? Where is it? It's really nice. I want some more. <laughs> And what I've done is I've actually left that branch as it is. So yeah, they've now got like a cool little climbing frame. <laughs> I'll play a few more of the mice <laughs> and then I'll show you the other animals. Or you can skip forward. <laughs> Here we go. So it's getting a little bit later now, it's like five in the morning and they're still going. Look at them go. <laughs> and that's rain, by the way. But yeah, I'm like, are they having fun? Are they chasing each other? You know, because they're not happy with each other. I don't know. I hope they're not arguing. <laughs> so yeah, munch, munch, munch. Oh, lovely peanut butter. Oh, yum, yum, yum. So I won't play any more mice videos. I'm going to skip now to um, the final video that this trail camera picked up 
literally, what, I think two hours before I actually went back and got it for the last time and took it home. So yeah, here we go. This is the last clip. I think you'll like it because it's not just mice, something a bit bigger. Here we go. <laughs> Red squirrel. <laughs> really happy with that. Uh, yeah, my boyfriend thought it was a grey squirrel, but if you know a red squirrel, you just know. So look at his little ears or her little ears and you can see the red just there. Um, the, the camera doesn't yeah, bring out the colour brilliantly, but that is a red squirrel. Did any of you spot the second animal in this clip? because I could see it, but the first time I looked at it, I was focusing on the squirrel so much, I just thought it was like a crow. Right, let me show you. This time, don't look at the squirrel. Look right at the back towards that tree, okay? Right, ready? Play him. See it moving at the back? I'll, I'll maybe put an arrow in the video. Can you see this? Right, it's not a bird, it's a deer! <laughs> it's a deer! And I didn't even <laughs> see it to start with. But can you see it? You just sort of notice its head on the floor, like eating. And then, yeah, if you kind of sit back further from your screen, you can make out the whole body. Here we go again, last time, ready? If you didn't see it before, ready? Squirrel, yep, hello squirrel again. Now, yeah, just kind of sit back further, like this, and you'll see a little curve and its legs. I think it's a roe deer. It's quite far away, it could be a red deer, but I think it's a roe deer. Um, and that is exactly what I thought I would get. I thought I'd get a deer walking by but I actually think the squirrel set the camera off. I don't think the deer did. So people, what do we think of that? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Uh, red squirrel, which I have been waiting to see for so long. One of the days that I went to check the trail cam, there was a red squirrel and it just like dashed past me um, quite far. So I couldn't get a picture, I couldn't film it. But now I'm thinking this area was so close to where I saw that squirrel in the daytime. That could be the same one. <laughs> um, either way, it's a red squirrel. Really happy with that. And the deer there, brilliant, because that is the deer path I was saying about um, at the start of this video. I could see all these trails, paths, whatever you call it. But yeah, I knew, I knew that they were there and I saw fresh uh, deer poo there as well. So I'll probably go out again this weekend, put the camera somewhere new, um, just to see if I get anything different. I think badgers live there. I've seen badger hair. <laughs> That's the closest I've got. I found a little bit of badger hair. Like, I don't know how it came off. I hope the badger's okay. But a little bit of badger hair. I'll change the location that I put the camera this time and I will report back to you here with my findings. Maybe one day I will do a review on the actual um, trail camera that I used. It is a cheap and cheerful one, but you know, gets results, so <laughs> I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe if you want to, like the video if you want to, and maybe I will see you here again soon. Okay, 